What happened was Ryan had this grand idea about having a game in school that includes people interacting with one another. As we did that and we did some research, we found out that AR is pretty amazing in the sense that it has so much potential. Hi, I'm Ryan Kang from Unbound Malaysia. I'm Natalie Loy from Unbound Malaysia. Unbound Malaysia is a technology firm in Malaysia where we operate in Malaysia and Australia. What we normally do is actually augmented reality gaming or any other uh, technology R&D and research. Our main project currently now is actually an augmented reality game for the university students or the youth in Malaysia to actually incorporate education and esports together. We started augmented reality gaming around 2017-2016. It was actually before the Pokemon Go era and that time I was in I think high school. I think it was from 5 if not mistaken. Where I started first started playing Pokemon Go, my one thing I noticed was there was lack the educational benefit and the real life experience inside the game. That's why we actually created this uh, Unbound game where actually to incorporate augmented reality has your second life. So it doesn't only become a gaming, but actually it aids you in education, retail. How did you get from being a student to where you are now at 22? What happened was Ryan had this grand idea about having a game in school that includes people interacting with one another. As we did that and we did some research, we found out that AR is pretty amazing in the sense that it has so much potential. So then we started learning how to code and eventually we built our first AR app that actually allowed students in Sunway itself to play the game. And then after that, from Sunway, we eventually moved to the whole of Malaysia. What inspired you to begin developing? the project. When we started this project was actually a very simple idea. We just want to gamify education. We found that AR is a very good additional add-on to your education. When we actually study, we actually had to go through eLearn or the e-website thingy, which is essentially like a Google Scholar, but just for your it's an online paper. So we found that way of education is you no know, the most very traditional way. It can be a bit boring sometimes. So what we thought was why not make something fun? And that time Pokemon Go was all the rage and we thought why not we create something similar like Pokemon Go to actually make youth or the students in general just to actually study for the exams. But actually, they want to study because it's fun. Did you get any, anyone who felt like it was weird for them to, to take directions from people who are younger? Yeah, we are 22. As it goes, yes, we do have people who question sometimes a little bit about capabilities and our abilities to manage projects because as a lot of people say with age comes experience and of course yeah we might be like lacking in some form of experience but we do work really hard and we do have a pretty decent amount of experience for what we have done previously and of course you know if they do question or doubt your capabilities and everything as long as you portray yourself as confident and you do have your information and your experience to actually back up you as a person. Later on, they will be more than happy to work with you. We've never had bad experiences. Maybe at the start when they look at you, they're like, oh, you're pretty young. But later on, you know, they're more than happy to talk to us, to contact us for any opportunities or any help that they need. So how steep do you think the learning curve was for this? When we first started having this project a little bit bigger, we worked with a big company and we, we went in, we got in trouble for not being able to do proper proposals. Of course, they, they taught us how yes. to do it as well, which we are really thankful for. Along the way, throughout these five years, what we've noticed is we've met a lot of people younger than us, many, many years younger than us, with amazing business experiences, business capabilities, and business ideas that they have done. And I think that just fuels us to become like even more competitive and really want to learn more. Because the thing is, if so many people can do it, we can do it as well but definitely it was a big learning curve because we've got scolded so many times by so many people but at the same time the same people that have scolded us has provided us with a lot of support and help along the way. How does that tie into um, uh, Takaful? Previously, we, uh, our game was actually with Cellcom Malaysia where we actually create esports game to actually create a youth community for the Cellcom users. But now this year, in around July or June, we actually partnered with FWD Takafu to actually create a financial literacy AR game to actually incorporate education and also esports together. How long have you been working on the project with uh, Takafu? In 2021, we're looking to push out another 30 to 50 universities across Malaysia promoting financial literacy, e-education and also esports, ensuring that this Malaysian youth have think about their future but at the same time enjoy learning and have a fun way of basically thinking about their future. What did you want users to get from uh, this game? 
what we're actually really hoping for users to get from this game is actually the ability to kind of know a little bit more about financial literacy, knowing about what kind of protection that they should take, but at the same time have a fun way of approaching education. Because, you know, most of us when we're in university and everything, we, we kind of like don't really wake up for class and especially with the COVID pandemic and everything, nobody kind of like, even though it's, you're studying from home, you kind of just leave it on and then you don't pay attention. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that even if you're at home and you're away from school and everything, you can still have a fun way of learning. And even if you're in the campus, we're changing up your daily campus life a bit so that you can learn your syllabus and your studies in a really fun and engaging manner. What other future projects are you working on? What we are currently doing is we still are doing AR for the e-education and financial literacy. But on top of that, we are actually going into the real estate market to actually gamify real estate or property development. Another project we are doing is with the shopping malls to actually gamify retail experience, not only for the shopping malls, but also for the tenants that's currently in the malls. We are aiming to actually create interactive SPM channel to create education in a different way, which means that public TV will be able to actually interact with the AR in terms of answering quiz, collecting your Nilai Nilai Muni, and etc. When will this game be available for people to play? For this year, it's actually available already, starting from November to December. For next year, we are aiming to target to launch the game at February until the end of the year, so that all university students in Malaysia actually will be able to play and learn uh, through our esports game. What is your world view when it comes to like how like this sort of thing, how people get ahead? What's your particular world view? I think for people in general, people are always very scared to take the first step into any business or any project or any things. For us, it, was, it started as a dream. We had this grand idea in our head saying that AR is the future and that's where we want to aim for, right? Honestly, we didn't plan very much at the start. We just went in first and then we start handling the problems or the steps one by one. And I think we would like to tell everyone is that you just have to try it first to actually know what you're getting into. You, if you research forever, you will never go into it. You need at least the basic foundation of how you manage your finance, how to create the plans and everything. You still need to plan, but you at least you must be daring enough to actually go into it. For you know all the kids around us that are our age or even younger or even older than us, we're only 22 now, it's very important decide about planning for your future you know regardless about financial literacy or how much money you can save each month about how much money you can earn when you grow up there are certain steps that you do need to take to ensure protection for not only you but your family to make sure that everybody's safe and sound but at the same time there's also that important aspect of enjoying the time that you have now you know being able to go to school being able to wake up late and have fun with your friends and things like these are precious moments that you should definitely take advantage of regardless of how many other projects that you want to go for should definitely treasure the time that you have right now and the things that you are doing right now.